my bell ain't rung yet. Get back to sleep. I want to beat the other fellas to the street. I don't want anyone to see. I ain't been walking so good. Ah, oh, quit griping. You know how many guys fake a limp for sympathy? Ugh. That bum leg of yours is a gold mine. If someone gets the idea I can't make it on my own, they lock me up in the refuge for good. Now, be a pal, Jack. Help me down. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! You want to bust up your other leg too? No. I want to go down. Yeah. Well, you'll be down there soon enough. Take a moment to take in my penthouse, high above the stinking streets of New York. You're crazy. Why? Because I like having a breath of fresh air? Because I like seeing the sky and the stars? You're just seeing stars, all right. Hey, hey, them streets down there, they suck the life right out of my old man. Years of rotten jobs, stomped on by bosses. When they finally broke them, they tossed them to the curb like yesterday's news. Well, they ain't doing that to me. But everyone wants to come here. New York's fine for those who can afford a big, strong door to keep it out. But I tell you, Crutchy, there's a whole other way out there. So you keep your small life in the big city. Give me a big life in a small town. They say folks is dying to get here. Me, I'm dying to get away to a little town out west that's spanking new. And while I ain't never been there, I can see it clear as day. Hey, if you want, I'll bet you you could see it too. <laughs> Close your eyes, come with me. Where it's clean and green and pretty And they went and made a city out of clay <laughs> hey, And the minute that you get there Folks will walk right up and say Hey, welcome home, son Welcome home to Santa Fe Planting crops, splitting rails Swapping tails around the fire Except for Sunday when you lie around all day. Hey, soon your friends are more like family, and they's begging you to stay. Hey, ain't that neat? Living sweet in Santa Fe. You got folks there? Nah, got no folks nowhere. You? I don't need folks. I got friends. Hey. Hey, how's about you come with me? No, no one worries about no gimp leg in Santa Fe. You just, you just hop a bell with me now. You ride in style. <laughs> See to me, ride it in style. <laughs> hey, I bet a few months of clean air, you could, you could toss that crutch for good. <laughs> Santa Fe, you can bet that we won't let them bastards beat us. We won't beg no one to treat us fair. Square. Now there's a life that's worth the living, and I'm gonna do my share. Work the land, chase the sun, swim the whole Rio Grande just for fun. Watch me stand, watch me run. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Don't you know that we's a family? Hey, would I let you down? Hey, no way. Just hold on, kid, till that train makes Santa Fe. Yeah, time for dreaming's done. Hey, Specs, Racer, Henry Albert Alma, get a move on, boys, and tapes don't sell themselves. Albert, Elma Specs, you heard Jack, get a move on. I was having the most beautiful dream. My lips are still tingling. Oh, pretty girl. A leg of lamb. Hey, that's my cigar. You'll steal another. Hey, look, it's bath time at the zoo. I thought that I'd 
Set all the nonsense, we'll be 
Morris. Back to one Jack skunks him. Yeah! yeah! One unfortunate day, you might find yourself in a bum game of your own. How'd you like us picking on you? Yeah. Maybe we should find out. Take that, the way it seems. You miss me? The name's Wiesel. Ain't that what I said? <laughs> I'll take the usual. 100 pages for the wise guy. How's it going, Weasel? At least call me Mr. I'll call you sweetheart if you spot me 50 pages. <laughs> <laughs> 50 pages for race. Move it along. What ever happened to romance? <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Wiesel. 50 pages for Crutchy. Hey, look at this, a new kid. I'm new, too. Ah, don't worry, kid. Rubs right off. <laughs> I'll take 20 newspapers, please. 20 for the new kid. Let's see the dime. I'll pay you when I sell them. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, kid, yeah. No, uh, cash up front. But whatever I don't sell, you buy back, right? <laughs> <laughs> Of course, of course, certainly, kid. And every time you lose a tooth, I put a penny in the account. Uh, <laughs> this kid's a riot. Come on. Hand over the cash or blow. Come on. Let's go. Albert, let me see your money. You know, you have a very interesting face. Ever think about getting into the moving pictures? Hey, you really think I could? Sure, I'd buy a ticket. They let anyone in! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. I paid for 20, but you gave me 19. You see the way I treat this new kid? And what do I get from my civility? Ungrounded accusations? I just want what I paid for. He said beat it. Hey, 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 new kid's right, Weasel. You gave him 19. Man, I'm sure it was an honest mistake on the account of Oscar can't count to 20 with his shoes on. <laughs> there, now take a hike. Now give him another 50 papes. No, I don't want more papes. Huh? What? what? what kind of newsy don't want more papes? I'm no charity case. I don't even know you. His name's Jack. This here is the famous Jack Kelly. Oh, boy. He once escaped jail on the back of Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt's carriage. Ah. Made all the papes. Hey, how 
old are you, kid? I'm ten. Almost. Yeah? Well, if anybody asks, you're seven. Younger sells more papes, and if we're going to be partners... Who says we want a partner? Selma Jack is a chance of a lifetime. You learn from him, you learn from the best. Well, if he's the best, what's he want with me? Because <laughs> you got a younger brother, and I don't. This puss could easily sell a thousand papes a week. Hey, hey, look sad for me, kid. Oh, oh, oh we're going to make millions! <laughs> this is my brother, David. I'm Les. Oh, nice to meet you, Davey. All right, my two bits come off the top, then we split everything 70-30. 50-50? You wouldn't try to pull a fast one like that on a little kid. 60-40, that's my final offer. Deal. That's disgusting. <laughs> hey, it's just business. All right, nosies, hit the streets. The sun is up, the headline stinks, and this kid ain't getting any younger. You got it, Jake? Circulation is down for the third quarter in a row. But Mr. Pulitzer, every paper's circulation is down since the war ended. Whoever said war is hell wasn't trying to sell newspapers. We could use an exciting headline. What have we got today? The trolley strike. Uh, that's not exciting. It's epic. That's boring. Folks want to know, is the trolley coming or ain't it? No one cares why. And the strike's about to be settled. Governor Roosevelt just put his support behind the workers. That man is a socialist. Teddy Roosevelt is no socialist. He's an American hero. The man wanted to outlaw football for being too violent. Football? <laughs> violent? <laughs> You're right. He's no socialist. He's a commie. Uh, Mr. Pulitzer, please, you must try to sit still. Ladies, please, you're making Nuncio nervous. And when Nuncio gets nervous, I don't look pretty. You never liked Roosevelt. You wrote an editorial against him day after day when he ran for governor. And guess what? He got elected. How am I supposed to influence voters if they're not reading my opinion? Big photos attract readers. Do you know what big photos cost? But without flashy photos and headlines, how are we supposed to sell more papers? There's an answer right before your eyes. You're not seeing this through. People, Nuzio knows when he's cutting my hair. Trim a bit here and then trim a bit there. Just a modest adjustment can fatten the bottom line. Mr. Pulitzer, please. Shaving is tricky, the razor should float. Shave me two coats, and you may cut my throat. It's the simplest solutions that bolster the bottom line. How does that help us sell more papers? We don't sell papers, silly. The newsies sell papers. I've got it. Why don't we charge every newsie 50 cents per hundred papers? Yes. What? We charge 60 cents per hundred. Now we're getting somewhere. A mere tenth of a penny per paper. Every single newsie would have to sell 25 more papers just to make the same amount as all this. My thought exactly. It's genius. It's going to be awfully tough on those children. Nonsense. I'm giving them a real life lesson in economics. Why? I couldn't offer them a better education if they were my own. Give me a week and I'll train them to be like an army that's marching to war. Proud of themselves and so grateful to me, they'll be begging to pay even more. When there's dirt on our shoes, boys, for God's sakes, relax. Why throw them out? All we need is some whites. Listen well to these barbershop lessons, for they'll see you through. Stop. 
in the muck you'll be fine. You'll erase any trace of decline. With the trim and the smear and the shine. And the power of the press. Yes, once again it's mine. The price for the newsies goes up in the morning. Just a few common sense and that's the bottom here, folks. Oh, thank you, miss. <laughs> you just made that up. I did not. I said she heard it right here, and she did. <laughs> My father taught us not to lie. Yeah, and mine taught me not to starve. Hey, I just sold my last paper. I got one more. Yeah, sell it to pay for it. Give it here. Ma'am, buy a paper from... <laughs> Poor orphan boy. <coughs> oh, you poor dear. Of course I'll buy your paper. Here's the dime. Born to the breed. <laughs> this is so much better than school. Don't even think about it. When Pop goes back to work, we go back to school. Hey, so how's about we uh, divvy up the money, grab some chow, and find you somewhere safe to spend the night? we has got to be heading home. Our folks will be waiting dinner. Oh, you got folks, huh? Doesn't everyone? Our dad tangled with a delivery truck on the job. Messed up his leg real bad, so as they laid him off. That's how come we had to find work. Yeah, that makes sense. Too bad about your dad. Hey, why don't you come home with us for dinner? Our folks will be happy to have you. Mom's a great cook. <laughs> Thanks for the invite, but... I actually, I just realized I have plans with the fella. All right, he's probably waiting on me right now. <laughs> Is that the guy you're looking for? Jack, Kelly, run for it! Weasel, grab him! Jack, you can't run forever. No, oh, I need to No, Come on, Snyder, buy my paper. Yeah. See you, Snyder! <laughs> ah! Hey, 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 slow down. We lost him. Someone want to tell me why I'm running? I got no one chasing me. Who was that guy? Uh, that there was Snyder the Spider, a real sweetie. He runs a jail for underage kids called The Refuge. Yeah. The more kids he locks up, the more money the city pays him. The problem is all the money goes straight into his own pocket, so do yourself a favor and stay away from him and The Refuge. Hey, there, shoot! What children allowed in the theater? <laughs> Not even for me, Miss Meta? Man of mystery, get yourself down here and give me a hug. Ooh, where have you been keeping yourself, kid? Yeah, never far from you, Miss Meta. Hey, boys, may I introduce Miss Meta Larkin, the greatest star on the Bowery today. And she also owns the joint. Oh, the only thing I own is the mortgage. Pleasure, gents. A pleasure. What's wrong with you? Are you blind? She got no clothes on. That's her costume. But I can see her legs. <laughs> well, step out of the way so he can get a better look. Theater's not only entertaining, it's educational. Got the picture, kid? Hey, madam, mind if we uh, hide out here for a little while? We got a little situation out on the street. Where better to escape trouble than the theater? <laughs> is Snyder after you again? Hey, Jack, is it really 
true you escaped jail in the back of Teddy Roosevelt's carriage? What would the governor be doing at a juvenile jail? <laughs> yeah, it just so happens that uh, he was running for office and he wanted to make it seem like he cared for orphans and such. So he got his mug in the paper. I got my butt in the back seat and off we rode together. <laughs> you really know the governor? He don't, but I do. Say, Jack. When you've got time, I'd like you to paint me another one of these backdrops. This last one you did is a doozy. Folks love it. And things have been going so well, I can actually pay. I could never take your money, Miss Meta. You picture that? <laughs> your friend is quite an artist. Uh, save your breath. It's just a bunch of trees. You're really good. That boy's got natural aptitude. Jeez, I've never met no one with a aptitude. Miss Meta, you're on. Yeah? How am I doing? <laughs> Boys, lock the doors and stay all night. You are with Meta. All right, that's cool. That's cool. It's better. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the star of our show, Miss Meta Larkin. I'm Julie Longbright for my son, folks. I should lock the door. <laughs> Twice in one day, think it's fate? Go away, I'm working. Oh, working girl, huh? Doing what? Reviewing the show for the New York Sun. Oh, the sun, hey, I work for the world. Oh, somewhere out there, someone cares. Go tell them. <laughs> well, the view's better here. <laughs> Please go, I am not in the habit of speaking to strangers. Well, then you're gonna make a very lousy reporter. <laughs> Name's Jack Kelly. Oh, is that what it says on your rap sheet? Oh, a smart girl, huh? I admire smart girls. Beautiful, smart, independent. Do you mind? You got in for free. At least pay attention. Sorry, Meta. 
for suckers at least it used to be the girls are nice once or twice till I find someone new but I never planned on someone like you I got no use you won't be welcome here no more Sappy boy, the night you stole my heart was for dollars in cash. Turns out my bow is just some fun. Turns out that love is not enough. At least it used to be. After so revolting, I feel bad for your wife. I won't be shaving your back anymore. I'm quiet now. There's a show going on. You are the one. Planned on someone like you. Sirens kept me awake all night. Sirens? They's like lullabies to me. The louder they wail, the better the headline. And the better the headline, the better I eat. And the better I eat, the further away from you I sleep. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Sorry we're late. We had to help our mom with something. Oh. They got some mother. I was going to get me one of those. Oh, what'd you do with the one you had? He traded up for a box of cigars. Ah, they was Coronas! <laughs> we have a father, too. Oh, a mother and a father. Ain't we the hoi polloi? <laughs> so, how's it going today? Ask me after they put up the headline. Here it comes now. New Newsies Pride. 60 cents per hundred? 60 cents per hundred? What'd you say? Is that news? That can't be real. Well, it is to me. They jacked up the price of pape. 10 cents more per hundred. I can eat two days on a dime. I'll be sleeping on the street. You already sleep on the streets. In a worse neighborhood. What's everyone standing around for? Get a load what of this, this, Jack. As if Paul's don't make enough already. Line up, boys. Hey, relax. It's gotta be a gag. Better be. Better be a gag. Playing with us. Gotta gotta gag hey, good one, Weasel. Really got the fellas going. I'll take a hundred and be on my way. And it'll cost you sixty. Hey, I ain't paying no sixty. Then make way for someone who will. All right. Me and the fellas will take a hike over to the journal. Yeah. yeah. I'll save you the walk. They up their price too. Come on. Right, then, then we'll take our business to the sun. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the same all around town. No day, no price. Why the jack up? For those kinds of questions, you gotta ask high up the food chain. Now you're buying or moving on? Come here, fellas. Jack, what are we gonna do? Guess I'm starving tonight. They can't just do that to us, can they? Why not? It's their papers. It's their world. Ain't we got no rights? We got the right to starve. Come on, let's go get our tapes in the streets while we still can. At them prices? We got a choice? And relax. No one's paying no new nothing. You got an idea? I'll keep your shirt on. Let me think this through. Yeah, what's your angle? Stop crowding. Hey, Let hey. the man think it out. So rude. Wait. Hey, 
Jack, he's still thinking? Uh, sure he is. Can't you smell smoke? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, if we don't sell pigs, no one sells pigs. No one goes up to that window until they put the price back down where it belongs. All right. All right. You mean like a strike? Uh, yeah, 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 you, you heard, Davey. We're on a strike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll shut yeah. this place down like the workers shut down the trolleys. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. All right. The cops will bust our heads. Half of them strikers laid up with broken bones. Oh my, my cops ain't gonna worry about a bunch of kids. Yeah, right, Davey? Leave me out of this. I'm just here trying to feed my family. What, and the rest of us is on playtime? Hey, just because we make pennies a day don't mean they can rub our noses in it. It doesn't matter. You can't strike. You're not a union. What if I says we is? There's a lot of stuff you gotta have in order to be a union. Like, membership? What do you call these guys? yoo -hoo. I hope And officers. Well, I nominate Jack President! Yeah! yeah all right. Oh, gee, I'm touched. <laughs> How about a statement of purpose? Oh, I must have left it in my other pants. Ah, <laughs> uh, what, what's a statement of purpose? A reason for forming the union. Well, what reason did the trolley workers have? I don't know. Wages, work hours, safety on the job. <laughs> Who don't want that? Hey, I bet if your father had a union, you wouldn't be out here selling pigs right now, yeah? Yeah. All right? Then our union is officially formed to watch each other's yeah. backs! Yeah. Yeah. Right. Union, we stand! Hey, that's pretty good. Somebody write that down. I got a pencil. Hey, meet our secretary of state! Yeah. Yeah. All, right. All right, what's next? If you want to strike, the membership's got to vote. All right. What do you say, fellas? Let's vote. Are we going to roll over and let Pulitzer pick our pockets? No. Or do we strike? Strike! Yeah. All right. Follow me, boys. All right. You heard the voice of the membership. The nosies of lower Manhattan are now officially on strike. Yeah. 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 Now, what's next? Wouldn't a strike be more effective if someone in charge knew about it? Right It'd be a pleasure to tell Weasel myself. You go tell him, Ray. Yeah, you go tell him. Go tell him. Oh, what's the matter? Yeah, and, and, and who tells Pulitzer? I don't know. I guess you do, Mr. President. Yeah, that's right. We do. Yeah. <laughs> what do we tell him? The newspaper owners need to respect your rights as employees. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pulitzer and Hearst yeah. gotta respect the rights of the working kids of this city. Yeah. We yeah. Yeah. They can't just change the rules when they feel yeah. like yeah. it. Yeah. We yeah. do the work, so we get a say. That's yeah. right. right. We got a union. Yeah. 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 Pulitzer and Hearst, they think we're nothing. Now are we nothing? No! They need to understand that we are not enslaved to them. We are free agents. Right. Pulitzer and Harsh, they think they got us. Do they got us? No! We're a union now. The Newsboys Union and we mean business. <laughs> Even though we ain't got hats or badges, we're a union just by saying so. And the world will know. Stop some other kids coming along to sell our pay. Oh, I just let him try. Yeah. Yeah. No! Stop. You can't beat up another kids. We're all in this together. Come on. What's it gonna take to stop the wagons? Are we ready? Yeah. And what's it gonna take to stop the scabbers? Can we do it? Yeah. We'll do what we gotta do until we break the will of Mighty Bill and Joe. And the world will know. And the journal too. Mr. Hurst and Pulitzer, <laughs> we got news for you. See, the world don't know what they're gonna pay. Instead of walking headlines, we'll be making up today. And our ranks will grow. And we'll kick their feet. Yeah! And the world will know that we've been here. When the circulation bell starts ringing, Will we hear it? No! And what if the Delancey's come out oh. swinging? Will we hear it? No! When you got a hundred voices singing, who can hear a lousy whistle blow? And the world will know that this ain't no game, that we got a ton of rotten fruit and perfect dame. So they gave their word. Well, it ain't worth peace. Now 
Now they're gonna see what stop the presses really means. And the old will weep and go back to sleep. And we got no choice but to see it through. And we will go away. Bullets may own the world, but he don't own us. Bullets may own the world, but he don't own us. Bullets may crack the whip, but he won't whip us. Bullets may crack the whip, but he won't whip us. And the world will know. We've been keeping score. Either they gives us our rights or we gives them a war. We've been down too long, and we pay our dues. the big spender what ordered seltzer yeah. that will be two cents two cents for a glass of seltzer just give me a water <laughs> how did I ever see that coming <laughs> hey who called me cheap <laughs> well I'd say we launched our strike in the most auspicious manner <laughs> I don't know about that but we sure scared the bejeevers out of Weasel. Yeah, 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 yeah we did. Did you see the Delanceys? They didn't know which way was up. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what's next? Now you have to spread the word. Let the rest of the city's newsies know about the strike. All right. You heard the man, let's spread the word. I I'll take Harlem. I got Midtown. We got the Bronx. I got the Bowery. All right, hey, Specs, you take uh, Queens and Tommy Boy. You got the uh, east side. All right, now who wants Brooklyn? <coughs> oh, come on. Brooklyn? It's about Cullinan's turf? <coughs> Finch, you're telling me you're scared of Brooklyn? I ain't scared of no turf. That there spot Colin gets me a little jittery. <laughs> All right. Me and Davey will get Brooklyn. Me? No, I have to. Why is everyone so scared of Brooklyn? What are you doing here? Asking a question. Have you got an answer? Well, Brooklyn is the sixth largest city in the entire world. You got Brooklyn, you hit the mother low. Hey, for a person who works for the New York Sun, you spend an awful lot of time hanging around the world. And what's that about? You following me? The only <laughs> thing I'm following is a story. 
A ragtag gang of ragamuffins wants to take on the kingmakers of New York. Think you have a chance? Now, shouldn't you be at the ballet? <laughs> oh, question too difficult? Oh. <laughs> I'll rephrase. Will the richest and most powerful men in New York give the time of day to a gang of kids who haven't got a nickel to their name? You don't gotta be insulting. I got a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you'd say you're a couple of Davids looking to take on Goliath. We never said that. You didn't have to. I did. Hey, I've seen a lot of papers in my day, and I never noted no girl reporter writing hard news. <laughs> Wake up to the new century. The game's changing. How about an exclusive interview? Hey, ain't you being entertain entertainment? <laughs> this is entertaining. So far. What's the last news story you wrote? What's the last strike you organized? Oh! All right, all right, all right. Hey, hey, oh, Kelly, boy. Kelly, back up. Me thinks the lady wants to be handled by a, <laughs> a real man. Not you! <laughs> <laughs> you think's wrong, Romeo. Oh. Romeo, she knows my name. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> this guy. I'd say we save any exclusive for a real reporter. Do you see somebody else giving you the time of day? All right, so I'm just busting out of the social pages, but you give me the exclusive, let me run with the story, and I promise I'll get you the space. You mean we could really be in the papes? Shut down a paper like the world, and you'll make the front page. All right, if you want a story, meet in front of the circulation gate tomorrow morning, and you'll get a story. Hey, I bring a camera. You're gonna want to snap a picture of this. All right, let's go, boys. Play outside. I gotta set up for dinner. On, you ain't got no customers. Hey, come on, customers. Come, on. Let's go. come on, we got newsies to visit. You won't be shooting us off. We get our mugs in the paint. <laughs> the world will know. Tomorrow, we, we stop the wagons. Are you scared? Do I look scared? Yeah. Well, ask me again in the morning. <laughs> A good answer. Good night, Mr. Kelly. Oh, where are you running off to? It ain't even supper time. I'll see you in the morning. And off the record, good luck. Hey, Plum, write it good. We both got a lot riding on you. You heard the man. Write it good. Write it good or it's back to wheezing your way through the flower show. No pressure. Let's go. Newsies, stop the world. A <laughs> little I verbally never heard anyone. With all eyes fixed on the trolley strike, there's another battle brewing in the city. And if I could just write about it, come on, Catherine, these boys are counting on you. Oh, you poor boys. Write what? 
what you know, so they say. All I know is I don't know what to write or the right way to write it. This is big lady, don't screw it up. This is not some little vaudeville I'm reviewing. Poor little kids versus rich, greedy, sour pusses. Ha! It's a cinch! It could practically write itself, but let's spray it thus. Cause as I may have mentioned, I have no clue what I'm doing. Am I insane? This is what I've been waiting for. Well, that plus the screaming of ten angry editors. A girl? It's a girl! How the hell is that even legal? Look, just go and get her. Not only that, there's a story behind the story. Thousands of children exploited, invisible. Speak up, take a stand, and there's someone to write about it. That's how things get better. Good day's rest. 
Are we doing the right thing? Sure we are. Maybe we should hold off a couple days. No, we can't. Jack, tell me, if we back down now, they will never listen to us again. No, Zeus, we can't back down now. No matter who does or doesn't show. Like it or not, now is when we take a stand. How's about we just don't show for work? Don't send a message. No, they'll just replace us. And we gotta show them that we can stand our ground. Come on, they did it. complains that the work we do is hard. All we ask is a square deal. So fellas, for the sake of all the boys and girls in every sweatshop, factory, and slaughterhouse in this city, I beg you, throw down your papes and join the strike. Yeah! 
Like it or not, we're drawing near. Like it or not, we're drawing near. Proud and defiant, we'll slay the giant. Judgment Day is here. Oh, what the hell? My father's gonna kill me anyway. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> 
not a headline. Nosey's crushed as balls attack. But he's calling me. Dumb grips just too damn slow. Guys are fighting, bleeding, falling. Thanks to good old Captain Jack. Captain Jack just wants to close his eyes and go.
drink up, boys. And don't never say, I don't give you nothing. And before you say, water is nothing, <laughs> try telling that to a fish in the desert. <laughs> fish in the, a fish. Because <laughs> it's so dry. <laughs> a fish. <laughs> Why do old people talk? To prove they still alive. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh. Oh, would you get a load of these glum mugs? Can these really be the same kids who made the front page of the New York Sun? Did I hear what? you correctly? Oh, I got it. Look it. Would you look it? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Front page, and you ain't even dead. <laughs> <laughs> Where's me? Where's me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, I look good. <laughs> oh. I can't see. Wait till my old man gets a load of this. I'm for sure not last in the tub tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you, need it. you got us in the paper. You got yourselves in the paper. <laughs> Newsy stopped the world. Now there's a headline even Alma could sell. <laughs> Mine's the only story that ran. Oh, oh come on. Pulitzer declared a blackout on all strike news, so even I'm shut down now. I heard they arrested Crutchy. Did they get Jack, too? The Delanceys are spreading the story that Jack took it on the lam. First sight of the cops. Jack don't run from no fight. Hey, hey, take it down, short stop. I'm just reporting the news. Can we stow the sinceriosity long enough to drink in the moment? I'm famous! Oh. oh. You wish! Yeah, and what of it? Are you stupid or what? No. <laughs> when you're famous, the world's your erster. Your what? Huh? Huh? Your erster. Your erster? Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> Say again. Your erster! Your rooster! Your fancy clam with the pearl inside! Oh. Oh. Yeah, but how much does being famous pay? You don't need money when you're famous. They gives you whatever you want. Gratis. Yeah, such as. A pair of new shoes with matching laces. Permanent box at the shoes and braces. Charlie on rye with a sour pickle. My doll when going deluxe In there I be, ain't I pretty not It's really. my city, I'm the king And you saw a gold watch with a chain twirling A very old man and he's a talent A barbershop here at the cost of quarter A regular beat for the star of water And spray punk, she's the king of New York My face beaming, tomorrow they may wrap fishes in it, but I was a star for one whole minute.
guess what? There's this secret escape plan I got. Tie a sheet to the bed, toss the end out the window, climb down and take off like a shot. to meet the famous Jack Kelly. Even Spock Conlon sent a kid over just to say next event. You can count on Brooklyn. How about that? Yeah, we got stomped into the ground. We got us this time. I'll grant you that. But we took round one, and with press like this, our fight is far from over. Every newsie that could stand walked over to sell papers like, like the strike never even happened. And I was right up there with them. If I don't sell papers, my folks don't. Right. Save your breath, I get it, it's hopeless. But then I saw this look on Weasel's face. He was actually nervous. And I realized, this isn't over. We got him worried. Really worried. And I walked away. Lots of other kids did too, and that is what you call the beginning. There he is, just like I said. For crying out loud, what's a fella gotta do to get away from you people? There's no escape in this pal, we're inevitable. <laughs> so, what's the story? Won't well, let us have the theater? Pipe down, I didn't ask yet. What's the hold up? I gotta let my girl know. We got a date. <laughs> Your girl? You heard me. I've been swamp skirts away all morning. Fame is one intoxicating potion. And this here girl, Sally, she's plum. <laughs> We're 
it is you wrote a great story. You look like hell. Hey, Jack, where's that supposed to be? It's Santa Fe. I've got to tell you, Jack, this Go West young man routine is getting tired. Even Horace Greeley moved back to New York. Yes, he did. Then he died. <laughs> Ain't reporters supposed to be nonpartisan? Ask a reporter. Pulitzers had me blacklisted from every Can news desk in the palava and get back to business. Well, let her let us have the theater. It's what I've been trying to ask you. We want to hold a meeting, a citywide rally where every newsie gets a say and a vote. Plus, we do it after working hours so no newsie loses a day's pay. Smart? Yeah, smart enough to get you committed to a padded room. Well, the guy who paints places he's never seen before is calling us crazy. You want to see a place I've seen? Help me up, Davey. <laughs> Nosey Square! Yeah, and thanks to my big mouth, filled with overwhelming failure. Kids hurt, others arrested. Lighten up, no one died. Is that what you're aiming for? Go ahead, call me a quitter. Call me a coward. I am not putting them kids back in danger. We are doing something that has never been done before. How can that not be dangerous? Sprague sprung me a letter from Crutchy at the refuge. So I went to go visit him, climbed up the fire escape, but they busted him up so bad, he couldn't even crawl over to the window. What if you don't make it? Are you willing to shoulder that for a tenth of a penny of paper? It's not about the pennies, Jack. You said it yourself. My family wouldn't be in the mess we were in if my father had a union. Yeah. This is a fight if we I have wanted, to win! If I wanted a sermon, I'd show up for church. Tell me how quitting does Crutchy any good. Exactly! So... Here's how it goes. Once we win, and we will be winning, make no mistake. We'll be what? We're already winning. Right. We'll tell them straight out, they let Crutchy go and they keep getting counted. Dave, what the hell? Did they bust up your brains or something? As I recall, Dave, we all got our asses kicked and won. Won the battle. Oh, come on. Jackie, think about it. We've got them surrounded. Here's what I think, Joe's a jerk, he's a rattlesnake You're right, and you know why a snake starts to rattle oh, Cause he's scared, sure. go and look at us, the poor guy's head is spinning Why would he send for the goons, an entire army, dozens of goons, plus the cops And you know you may be right, thank you God, if he wasn't afraid Exactly, he knows we're winning against me. Listen, I would save you the embarrassment if I could, but the burlesque house is on private property. He can't order a raid without legal cause. 
Mr. Mayor, would the fact that this rally is being organized by an escaped convict be enough to shut it down? An escaped convict? A fugitive from one of your own institutions. A convicted thief at large wreaking mischief on our law-abiding community. <laughs> uh, Mr. Snyder, which one is he? That one. That's Jack Kelly. Hmm. And how do you know this boy? He was first brought to my refuge for flagrant favorites. <coughs> but his total disregard soon made him a frequent visitor. But you called him a thief and an escaped convict. After his release, I caught him personally myself, red-handed, trafficking in stolen food, clothing. That willful little ruffian escaped. So you'd be doing the city a service, removing the criminal from our streets? Well, uh, if that's the case, we can take him in quietly. What good would quiet do me? I want a public example made of him. Mr. Pulitzer, B-boy Jack Kelly, he's here. Here? Yes, here, and he's asked to see you. <laughs> Ask him, ye shall be received. <laughs> Mr. Snyder, uh, if you please. Sit. Mr. Jack Kelly. Good afternoon, everyone. And which Jack Kelly is this? The charismatic union organizer or <laughs> petty thief and escaped convict? Which one gives us more in common? Impudence is in bad taste when crawling for mercy. Uh, crawling? <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> I was just uh, stopping by with an invite. Seems a few hundred of your employees are uh, rallying against recent disagreements. So I thought it only fair to offer you to talk to the fellows personally. What do you say, Joe? Why don't you put your name on the bill? You are as shameless and disrespectful a creature as I was told. Do you know what I was doing when I was your age, boy? I was fighting in a war. Oh yeah? How'd that work out for you? Taught me a lesson that shaped my life. You don't win the war on the battlefield. It's the headlines that crown the victor. Well, I'll keep that in mind when New York wakes up with a front page photos of our rally. Rally till the cows come home. Not a paper in town will publish a word. And if it's not in the paper, it never happens. You know, you may run this city, but there's, there's folks like us who you can't bully. Even some reporters. <laughs> Such as that young woman who made you yesterday's news. A talented girl and beautiful as well, don't you think? I'll tell you you said so. Uh, no need. Uh, <laughs> she can hear for herself. Can't you, darling? I trust you know my daughter, Catherine. <laughs> yes, <laughs> my daughter. Now, you're probably wondering why the gnome de plume and why doesn't my daughter work for me? Good questions. I offered Catherine a life of wealth and leisure. Instead, she chose to pursue a career. And it was showing real promise until this recent lapse. But you're done with all that now, aren't you, darling? Jack. But no, don't trouble the boy with your problems, dearest. Mr. Kelly has a plateful of his own. Uh, wouldn't you say, Mr. Snyder? Hello, Jack. Oh, 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 oh. Does anyone else feel a noose tightening? But allow me to offer an alternate scenario. You attend this rally, and you speak against this hopeless strike. And I'll see to it your criminal record expunged, and your pockets filled with enough cash to carry you in a first-class train compartment from New York to New Mexico and beyond. Uh, you did say he wanted to travel west, didn't There you? ain't a person in this room who don't think you stink. And if they know me, they know I don't care. Mark my words, boy. Defy me, and I'll have you and every one of your... Friends, locked up in that refuge. Whoa, now I know you're Mr. Tough Guy, but it wouldn't be right to condemn that little crippled boy to conditions like that. And what about your pal, Davey, and his baby brother, ripped from their loving family and <laughs> tossed to the rats? Will they ever be able to thank you enough? Time's running out, kid. So what do you say? Cowboy or convict? I win either way. Your abject surrender was always the bottom line.
Gentlemen, escort our guest to the cellar so he might reflect in solitude. Too bad you've no job, Jack, but you did resign. Too bad you've no family, but you can't have mine. Be glad you're alive, boy. I'd say that's the bottom line. Like the pipe pipe for you, what to play? Till those kids all believed you were right. Lucky rock band, all the one go away. They may not be so lucky.
But I have spoken to Mr. Pulitzer, and he's gave me his word that if we disband the union, he won't raise the price again for two years, and he'll put it down in writing. I, I say we take the deal. Go back to the deal. Go back to the deal. Go back Some speech you made. How'd you get up here? Specs showed me. Oh, yeah? Tell her to go through my stuff, too? I saw them rolled up, sticking out over there. I didn't know what they were. These drawings. These are drawings of the refuge, aren't they? Is this really what it's like in there? Three boys to a bed, rats everywhere, and yeah. vermin? A little different from where you grew up. Snyder told my father you were arrested stealing food and clothing. This is why, isn't it? You stole to feed those boys. I don't understand. If you were willing to go to jail for them, how could you turn your back on them now? I don't think you're anyone to talk on turning on folks. I never turned on you or anyone else. No, no, no. You just double-crossed us to your father. Your father. My father has eyes on every corner of this city. He doesn't need me spying for him. And I didn't lie. I just didn't tell you everything. You know, if you want a girl, you wouldn't be trying to talk with a fist in your mouth. I told you I worked for the sun, and I did. I said my professional name was Plummer, and it is. You never asked my real one. Well, I didn't think I'd have to unless I was dealing with a backstabber. If I were a boy, you'd be looking at me through one swollen eye. Well, don't let me stop you. Give me your best shot. I spoke the truth. You win a fight when you got the other fellow on the ground eating pavement. But you heard your father. No matter how many days we strike, he ain't giving up. I just don't know what else we can do. Oh, but I do. Oh, come on. Oh, really, Jack? Really? Only you can have a good idea? Or is it because I'm a girl? I never said that. This would be a good time to shut up. Being boss doesn't mean you have all the answers, just the brains to recognize the right one when you hear it. I'm listening. Oh, good for you. Uh, the strike was your idea. The rally was Davies. And now my plan will take us to the finish line. Deal with it. The children's crusade. For the sake of every kid in every sweatshop factory and slaughterhouse, I beg you, join us. With those words, the strike stopped being just about the Newsies. You challenged our whole generation to stand up and demand a place at the table. The Children's Crusade. Oh, think, Jack. If we publish this, my words with one of your drawings, and if every worker under 21 stayed home, or better yet, came to Newsy Square, a general citywide strike, oh, my, my father couldn't ignore that. Just one problem. You got no, no way to print it. Oh, come on. There has to be one printing press that my father doesn't control. Oh, no. What? I know a printing press that no one would expect we'd use. Oh, but then why are we still standing here? Wait, wait, stop. What is this about? I don't mean the children's crusade. What is this about? Am I kidding myself, or is there something? <laughs> of course there is. Well, don't just say it like it happens every day. Oh, Jack. Listen, I'm not an idiot. I know girls like you don't end up with guys like me. 
And I don't want you promising nothing you gotta take back later. But standing here tonight looking at you, I'm scared tomorrow's gonna come and change everything. It was just some way I could grab hold of something to make time stop, just as so I could keep looking at you. You snuck up on me, Jack Kelly. I never even saw it coming. For sure. For sure.
there's enough keys here for the entire building. <laughs> what you been doing, picking daddy's pockets? The janitor's worked here since he was eight and hasn't had a raise in 20 years. <laughs> He's with us 100%. Hey, bring enough guys, guys to get us covered? We could hold a hoe down in here and no one would be the wiser. Good job. Hey, Jack. It's good to have you back again. Hey, shut up. <laughs> well, here she is, boys. Just think, while my father snores blissfully in his bed, we will be using his very own printing press to take him down. <laughs> Remind me to stay on your good side. <laughs> Is that what they use to print the papes? I can see why they tossed this old girl in the cellar, but she'll get the job done. Jack, this is Darcy. He knows just about everything there is to know about printing. Do you look for one of the papes? My father owns the trip. Oh, wow. <laughs> and this is Bill. He'll be typesetting the article for us. Bill, you wouldn't happen to be the son of William Randolph Hearst. I'm proud to be part of your revolution. Don't get a load of that. <laughs> In the words of the little one, can we table the palaver and get down to business? <laughs> A little grease should be as good as gold. All right, here's how it'll work. As we print the papes, race. You let the fellas in and we'll spread them to every working kid in New York. After that? Yeah, after that, it's up to them. <clears throat> There's change coming once and for all. You makes the front page And man, you is major news Tomorrow they'll see what we are And sure as a star We ain't come this far To lose This is the story that's been cast out of sight, but no more. In a big up few hours, by dawn's early light, we'll be ready to fight us a war. It's time we're ready to stay. Talk about season the day. Hey. Write it in ink or in blood, it's the same either way. They're gonna damn well pay. Single man pulls a snug in his bed, he don't care if we're dead or alive. Seven pillows are under his head while he's begging for bread to survive. So you can stop counting sheep. We're gonna sing you to sleep. Then while you snooze, we'll be lighting a fuse with the promise we take in the keys. Once and for all, if they don't mind, their manners will bleed us. Bleed us. Once and for all, we won't carry no manners that don't. We will work with you. We will even work for you. But we will be paid and treated as valuable members of your organizations. Ribbit and stuff, fun. Um. And now get going. You got a very important man to see. Keep your fingers crossed. Yeah, for us too. All right, no dates. Are you ready? Yeah! Kids yeah. 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 shining shoes on the street, but those shoes on their feet every day. This is for guys sweating blood in their shops while their bosses and cops look away. I see kids standing tall, glaring and raring the brawl. Armies of guys who are sick of their eyes getting ready to rise to the call. Once and for all, there'll be blood on the walls if they doubt us. They think they're running this town, but this town will shut down without.
take our business elsewhere. The old print and press in the cellar. I made you the offer of a lifetime. Anyone who does not act in their own self-interest is a fool. What's that make you? This all started because you wanted to sell more peeps. Now your circulation is down 70%. Why didn't you just come talk to us? Because guys like Joe don't talk to no nothings like us. But a very wise reporter once told me, to be a boss, you don't have to have all the answers. Just as smart as to snatch the right run when he hears it. Now is the time to seize the day. Stare down the odds and seize the day. Minute by minute, that's how you win it. We will find a way. Take a look, Pulitzer. In case you ain't figured it out, we got you surrounded. Yeah. New York is closed for business. Paralyzed. You can't get a paper or a shoe shine. You can't ride an elevator or cross the Brooklyn Bridge. And you can't even exit your own building. So what do you say, Joe? What's your next move? Here with your daughter. You're not going to believe who else. Governor Roosevelt? Joseph, 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 what have you done now? Well, I'm sure the way Thanks to Miss Madelark and bringing your daughter to my office, I already have a thorough grasp of the situation at hand. Uh, graphic illustrations included. Bully is the phrase I employ to show approval. But in your case, I simply mean bully. And is this the young lad of whom you spoke? How you doing, son? Only one share the carriage ride. Well, just mine, Mr. Governor. Well, Joe, don't just stand there letting them children sing endlessly. Go and tell them the good news. What good news? That you've come to your senses and rolled back the prices. Unless, of course, you wish to invite a full state senate investigation upon your employment practice. <laughs> you After the pressure you wielded to keep me from office, <laughs> I'd do it with a smile. Come along, Joseph. There's only one thing worse than a hard heart. That's a soft head. Ah! And think of the happiness you'd bring the children. He doesn't do happiness, does he? Mr. Kelly, if I may speak to you alone. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the stars and feet on the ground. You can do this. I cannot put the price back where it was. I'm sorry I can't. There are other considerations. I get it, I get it. You gotta say face front of all these folks. I'm young, I'm not stupid. Thank you for understanding. But I got some constituents with a legitimate gripe. What if I reduce the raise by half and get the others to do the same? It's a compromise we can all live with. But you eat our losses. From now on, any papers we can't sell, you buy back. Full price. That was never on the table. What's to keep Newsies from taking hundreds of papers they can't sell? My costs will explode. No, no, no Newsies going to break his back hauling around papers he can't sell. But if they can take a few extra on the side with no loss, they may sell them. And your circulation will begin to grow. Well, it's a compromise we can all live with. That 
that's not a bad head you've got on your shoulders. We got a deal? <laughs> that's disgusting. Yeah, it's just the price of doing business. I believe that our future in your hands will be bright and prosperous. Yeah. <laughs> and son, your drawings have brought another matter to bear. Uh, gentlemen, if you will. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hey, Jack, it's oh. Jack, with your drawings, you made an eloquent argument for shutting down the refuge. Be assured that all of Mr. Snyder's abuses will be fully investigated. Take them away. Please, yeah. the highness. May I do the honors? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You're kidding me! And you'll be laughing all the way to the pen, little man. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Governor. I can't help thinking if one of your drawings convinced the governor to close the refuge, what might a daily political cartoon do to expose the dealings in our own government's back room? What do you say, Teddy? Care to have this young man's artistry shine a lantern behind your closed doors? Hey, don't sweat it, Gov. With the strike through, we probably should be hitting the road. Don't you ever get tired of singing the same old tune? What Santa Fe got that New York ain't? Tarantulas? Better yet, what's New York got that Santa Fe ain't? New York's got us, and we're family. <laughs> uh, didn't I hear something about the strike being settled? Papes for the newsies, line up, boys. These papes ain't gonna sell themselves. Come along, Governor, and show me this back seat I've been hearing so much about. <laughs> Well, don't just stand there. You've got a union to run. Besides, didn't someone just offer you a pretty exciting job? Me? Work for your father? <laughs> you already work for my father. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you've got one more ace up your sleeve. Who might that be? Me. Wherever you go, I'm right there by your side. For sure? For sure. Don't take much to be a dreamer All you do is close your eyes Well, some made-up world is all you ever see <laughs> Now my eyes, they's finally open And my dreams, they's average size But it don't much matter if you ain't with me i 
expedition, sell an expedition, we'll be out.